So today what we want to look at is the new web platform which is associated with the new JustCan app. Everything I'm going to be showing you guys here today except for one small feature is going to be able to be done either on the web shop or the JustCan app. Um, this is what it looks like when you log in. You should see on the top right hand corner my account. If you do not you will see a login icon here. You can select and that's where you can log in. What we're going to be going over today is how to place orders on the website and just to show you some tips and tricks on how to better organize the products. Uh, and we'll be doing that by going left to right across this top menu here. We do have 45,000 plus SKUs here at JustCan. And if you don't know our SKUs and you don't know the exact descriptions that the manufacturers give to their products or you use trade slang, it can sometimes be difficult to find those SKUs. So I'm going to show you how to better organize products based on your own user login and uh, easily place orders for projects and, and lists and such. Um, you do have the opening page here, which is going to show you a bit of our marketing items that we have displayed for this month. Uh, and it cycles through those pages there. But we also have a new promotions tab, which is located at the top. If you click into the promotions tab, you will basically see all of the items that are in our print flyers that you see every time you access a branch that we have. Uh, we have a new one come out every month with new products and new promotions. So this is an easy place you can come and just double check, see what we got on special this month. Um, first thing you'll see at the top here is our JustCan product search. Uh, this is what we call the global search. It, it will search all of our 45,000 plus SKUs and it works pretty well, but um, because it's such a large breadth of products, it can be a little bit daunting. Um, but I'm going to show you guys ways to make it a little bit easier for you. And uh, we'll start that now. So if I'm searching for any product whatsoever, let's say we do EMT. If I type in a generic term like EMT, you will see so I typed in the term, I did not hit enter, and I have this drop down menu here. You can see it starts off with categories. I can look up EMT fittings, connectors, couplings, elbows, conduit. Uh, I have my quick list items up here that I have on my list, and then I have the rest of JustCan's products. If I click view all or select enter, I will then see all of the products that we do have offering here. We have the ability to check branch inventory, now, you guys, as your own user profiles, will have a custom list of branches available based on the branches that you shop from. Basically, what we do is we consolidate this list so that you don't have to see all of the branches. You just see the ones that you need to see. We can make those changes for you at any time. You just let us know if you need us to add a branch or if you want us to remove some to make it a little bit uh, smoother process for you, you can do that. You definitely see... Um, inventory for delivery, which is everything we have in JustCan, of course, at individual branches if you select in here. Um, you can easily add products to the cart just by entering the quantity you need and clicking Add to Cart. You can select multiple items that you need, and you can add them all to cart by using the global Add to Cart button at the top here. Last but not least, we then have a way to do a deeper dive. As you can see, there's 325 products with the word EMT in it. So you can use the filters on the left-hand page here to actually get down deeper and reduce this search results to something you're looking for. Where this is 14 pages, you can get it down to one or two. Uh, now, going back up to the top menu here, you're going to see Quick List. Now, what is the Quick List? Essentially, Quick List is a list of items that you're purchasing from us on a regular basis that you like to organize um, and you like to find easier. Now, how do you add items to your quick list? That's pretty easy. What you do is when you see personal code here, you can write one EMT and hit the green check mark. Now I can enter any type of trade slang, any type of text here, and that will save as my personal code. As soon as I save an item as my personal code, it does a couple of things. It will add that item to my quick list, but also the text that I enter as my personal code now becomes discoverable in the global search. So I now see my quick list item first, one EMT, which is what I had named it. 
course, I can still find it using the JSCAN product code or any of the product descriptions as well, but I've now made the text that I've entered for a first product discoverable in the global search. Now that I've clicked into my quick list, I can see all the items that I have on my quick list. What's nice about this is that you'll notice there's the global search function up here still. It will always remain on top of the website. But under quick list title, I have a search bar as well. Now this search bar is going to only search the products that I have previously saved in my quick list. Now if you have a new account with JustScan or you just created an online user pro um, profile and no one else in your company has previously had a user profile, you'll probably have an empty list here. It'll start from scratch. We can, you can easily just add your own just like the way I showed you, but you can also import and export if you're using other software, maybe other coding software. All you would need is the, the product code and you can import from an Excel doc. Again, you will see looking at this list, you can change the names of any products just by clicking the orange text, branch inventory, add to cart, and of course I then have the add random multiple items to a shopping cart. So if I were to take a couple of these items and I were to add them to a shopping cart, I will have the green notification at the top here, just letting me know that that was successful. I also see that I have my shopping cart icon on the top of the screen here and it has those three items in. So if I have completed everything I need to add to my shopping cart, I can easily just click the shopping cart now and it should bring me to my shopping cart page. Now that I'm at my shopping cart page, I have the option to select delivery which will show me inventory available from the branch, my home branch, as we always ship out from your home branch. Or if I choose pickup, I then have the option of selecting a different branch. And as I select different branches, my inventory will update. It'll show me the live inventory from any branch that I decide to choose from. When I choose pick up at this branch, that means, and I place this order, that order will go to that specific branch. It will show up on the printer in about 30 to 60 seconds and the order pickers can start picking it for me. The checkout process is pretty easy. Um, before we go there, I just want to point out again that we have personal codes or editable on any page that you see product information. I can easily empty my cart here. I can print it if I needed to. I'm going to go through the checkout process really quick. So the checkout process for a delivery order, pretty simple. First step is shipping and billing. Here I can check a pickup date. I have the pickup address is Kelowna, BC, and I have the branch hours of operations because I chose that at the last screen. I can choose a pickup as early as today, defaulting to today. But if I wanted to let the guys know, hey, it won't be until Monday, I can choose the date of Monday. Here are the shipping and handling instructions, which actually cop copy over from the last order I've done. This is the area you want to utilize to communicate with our branch, anything that you need to communicate. So as you see, I said, we'll pick up at three. I can say, pick up tomorrow at 8 a.m. Just note that you have maximum of 30 characters here. This gets printed on the pick ticket right at the top in the header. And it also gets printed, or it also displays in the order in our computer screen. So any sales rep on the inside is going to be able to see this note, as well as any order picker in the warehouse will see that note. So this is the space you want to utilize any type of communication you want. You just have to abbreviate, as it's only can only afford to fit 30 characters maximum. Next step down here is where you would enter your PO. And in this area here, you will see bill to my account for credit account customers. If you are a credit card cash customer, you will see bill to my credit card. And if you have the option to do both, you will actually be able to toggle between the two. The only difference between bill to my account, bill to credit card is if you are billing to a credit card, you would have a step in between here and review order, which would be enter your credit card details, which of course can be saved. If I'm ready to place the order, I have my PO, I put any notes I want on it. The last step here is to review order. Uh, reviewing order is important. Uh, the reason why, I mean, for an order like this where it's just three items, you know, we saw the inventory on the screens before we saw the inventory as we were adding the items to the cart. So we know these are in stock. But if you had a large order, 
where maybe you couldn't remember, you couldn't check the inventory at the branch you're going to as you're creating the order. In this step at review order, you would see a segregation of, of items that are in stock and below would be your back ordered items. So it would just, it would remind you here what items are available for immediate pickup and or items that are gonna have to be ordered in and ordered for you. Of course, you have a review on your final pricing and the last step would be to then submit order at that point. If I go back to my shopping cart, and let's say I added this, these items to the shopping cart, but what if it's uh, common items I'm always purchasing? Maybe I'm putting an order together for a residential rough-in or a finishing list or something like that, and I wanna save this as an order template. That's pretty easy to do. Instead of checkout above the top here, I can save this. So I'll just type this webinar template test, and I'll click Save Cart, and this will automatically bring me to the next menu item here which is saved carts there it is right there webinar I can say modified this on April 2nd I can see that there are three products in. I can see the total and I have quick action items on here one to edit one to just add these products to a shopping cart and one to delete this is good to know these if I were to order this template again it would not delete I can reuse this template over and over again it will only delete if I physically hit this delete button if I clicked into it or clicked the edit button, I would be able to see the products. I can, of course, add all to cart, or if I check all off, I can put individual items to a cart and I can just add those to a cart. So this is a great way to create uh, templates for you guys. Um, main templates I get asked to create for customers or that I see customers create are you know, resi ruffins, uh, finish. And of course, if you are working at a project, that you received a large quote on, you can actually take that quote and you can save it to a template. And then you know every time you go to that job site exactly what products are being used on that job site. What's really great about the, these last two features I went over here is the quick list and saved carts are both available from the JustCan app. You also have the ability to set your personal codes from the JustCan app. I can't stress that enough, guys, is that when you log into this web shop or you log into the website, or, sorry, when you log into the website or when you log into the JustCan app, it is one singular account. Any creations you make here, any changes you make, any shopping carts you build here are going to be built when you move to your app. So if you're starting to work on the web shop and then you leave your office or you leave your computer and you go to a job site, you can open up your JustCan app and you can continue working right where you left off. Or you can quickly add products as you think of them on the go. Next step down the line here would be the job builder. Now this is a feature I'm not gonna go over in this tutorial because I really wanna focus mostly on how to organize your products and how to place orders, but just so you guys know, you can quickly add items to a job and what the job builder feature is, is essentially it's quoting software for you guys to quote your customers. So I have a quote for townhouses in Langford here. It's just a, a template. You can see you can put a job description, you can do a quote, you can add a global margin to all products across the board. And of course, you can copy this to reuse and recycle the quote as you need. I have all my JustCan products on top, and then I have labor with no character limit. I can write a scope of work down below. Of course, I can add dollar values to here, and then I can export this with my company logo on it so I can use this to quote my customers. If anybody wants to go over the job builder feature in more detail and just see exactly how it works, please let me know after this um, via email, and I'll get back to you, and we'll go over it. Now, the easiest way to get used to the website, I find, is to start accepting your quotes. Uh, these are branch and JustCan staff created quotes for you. All you do is click on your quotes page and all quotes associated to your account number will be listed here. So I just created this test quote. You can see the quote number and you can see the order value there. I can click into it, I can see all the products. I can again set my personal codes from here. This is a really nice feature too. If you are ever having problems finding quotes or getting your quick list up and started from scratch, you can ask our branch for a, a list of products that you're having trouble finding. They will create a quote for you and then you will be able to set your personal codes right from the quote. Now, if it's a quote that you want to process, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is add your PO number. Let's say this PO number is stock. You can choose default shipping address. You can choose the delivery date for us in the future. 
You can create a new address if you needed to right from here. This is a really great feature, guys. If you're ever uh, checking out for a delivery, you can save this to your address list, and then it becomes one of your drop-down addresses right here. This is great, great for if you're a project manager and you've been at a job site for a year and you always get deliveries to the same job site address. You can do it right from there. Uh, again, we have the shipping and handling instructions. So ship out. Please arrive by 4 p.m. Or call when delivering common ones. Common, common uh, shipping and handling instructions we see. So this gets again printed on the pick ticket as well as the inside sales reps do see this. I can revise the code if I need to ask the guys for a quote revision or if I just hit checkout, I will then place my order. Again, if I wanna take this quote and I wanna create a quote for my customers, I can just click add to job and I can do so that way as well. Um, one thing I wanna to touch on in your address list is you actually have under my accounts, you have your address list up here. This is just an area where you can then monitor your addresses. You can delete ones that you're not using to consolidate that list, and you can actually add new ones right from here as well. Okay, next step on the list here is your orders. So this order history page is going to be all of your company's orders with JustCan, regardless of where they are placed. So we can see the order screen is loaded. What you guys will see is all of your orders associated with your account number you will see the totals that are billed on that order as well. Uh, because I'm using a test account, every order that's been placed on this account has been canceled and therefore zero dollars were billed. But what you guys will see is the total dollar value associated with this invoice. Now, if you come across your orders and you see this plus sign, that means there was at least one back order done for that order. If you hit the plus sign to open it up, you will then see your 01 and you will see your original order here. Our back orders are always listed 01, and if there are multiple back orders 02, 03, 04, and so on, you will also see the total dollar value associated with just the order on the back ordered items here, and of course, just the orders that are the items that were billed on your original order here. So we do segregate that for you. A really great feature that guys like to use is the search feature here, which is only available on the web shop. You will have date range you can search by to search your orders. You can search by our order number, and you can search by your PO number or you can actually search by a product SKU and bring up all the invoices in which you purchase a particular product. The most commonly used one is going to be the PO number search. What guys are using, a lot of guys I see use either job site addresses or POs or job name or they have a job number and then a separate PO dash. For instance, if this was the job name was the word test and the PO was the word order, what I would do here is search the word test, hit the search button, and it will eliminate all other orders. It will just show me the ones with the PO test. I can then see all of my order totals for that specific job. I can then export this to an Excel doc with all my order totals. What's great about this is if there is a credit associated with that, uh, with that job, you will also see the dollar value in a negative. What that means is when you export your product and you're using job numbers correctly, you will then be able to see all of your billings for a specific job, and it makes it a lot easier to bill your guys' as customers on your end. Again, I just want to reiterate, the search feature here is on the web shop. The app does have um, the ability to view all your orders, but you don't have the ability to, to do a deep dive and search like you do on the web shop here. Next on the order screen, I will touch on orders waiting approval uh, very quickly. So this is only if you have multiple users associated with your account and some of the, those users have the ability to purchase and some don't. What happens here is the people who do not have the ability to purchase can still do the workflows that I'm showing you today, except when they place an order, instead of it coming to JustCan, it would actually go to an order approver at your office. When they go to that order approved, approval, they will get a email notification. They will also be able to find it here. And what they do is they go into that order, enter their PO and their shipping and handling notes, and they finalize the order on their end. So it's just an appro approval workflow that we have built in for the user. We have a few other um, permissions we can toggle on and off uh, per user profile. If you guys want more information on that, just let me know. Uh, and I will go over that with you guys one-on-one -on -one after the webinar here. Uh, really important one, guys, is product history. 
This uh, goes back to the fact that we have 45,000 SKUs and it can sometimes be hard to find SKUs. But what we do here for product history, it's essentially the same as order history as it, in, it is all the products that you purchase. But instead of listing it by the order number and their date, we are going to list it to you by the SKU. And we're going to list it to you by the number of times you've purchased these products. So your company will show your top used or purchased products from JessCan and it will descend down to least used. And it'll be all your products you purchased from us over the past two years and it is a rolling total. So that is always constantly updated over the past two years. Again, you will see the global search up top here, but just like QuickList, you will have the ability to search just the products you have that you've purchased over the past two years. It's a really great feature, really helpful in finding your products. You'll be able to again, set your personal codes here. This PDF right here is the actual spec sheets, which is again available from the app as well. Really good feature. Check in inventory, your price, and you can just purchase right from this web, uh, this screen as well, or create your shopping carts from here. Again, the ability to multi-select. And as you see, as I multi-select, this lights up. As I scroll down, I can select more options, and you see this actually uh, magnetizes to the top of the screen, so it's always there, and I can continue continue to add products as I need. I also have the ability to change from descending to quantity ordered. By default, we're always going to do number of orders, as that is going to be the, you know, the, amount, of, the amount of times you're asking for products versus quantity is uh, much more important. Last but not least, guys, is if you are using a third-party software for any quoting or accounting purposes or anything, and you guys have an order that you'd like to place, or you want to check our live inventory um, or live pricing, as third third-party uh, software for quoting doesn't always have the live pricing and it'll never have the inventory. But uh, what you can is that you can export from your third-party software. You can click on orders, click on import order to get to this screen, and then all you need to do is the product code and the quantity you're looking for, and you can actually import it via an Excel doc or a .csv file, and it'll upload those products right into your shopping cart. And it'll look just like this, where you'll have be able to check branch inventory at multiple branches, and you'll be able to check the pricing associated with your contractor pricing account on the website. Of course, then you can easily just place your order just by hitting the checkout button as well. So in a nutshell, guys, that's how we organize the website. That's how you can better organize your products, your SKUs. Uh, quick recap is promotions is going to be our monthly flyer. When I use the search bar up top, I can search generic terms. If I don't hit enter, it will I'll wait for a pop-up to arrive and it'll show me the most popular products on top. If I, of course, hit enter, I'll go into a deeper dive search. Um, I have a bad internet connection right now, so it doesn't seem to be popping up for me. Quick list is any item that you create a personal code for. You can search at the global search for your quick list items, or you can search here just to find just to search the products on that quick list. I can create a shopping cart with those products and I can save it to have order templates, which are going to be accessible from the app. Job builder I can use to quote my customers, add margin quotes or any product, any quotes that we create for you as a JustCan employee with any special pricing or bulk orders or anything like that, that you can process and check out from the from the website. And of course, your orders is a way to view your order history, any invoice history, regardless of where the transaction is purchased. Now, the one thing I'll mention before we leave today is that uh, with the JustCan app, the JustCan app does have one additional feature which the web shop does not have, and that it has the ability to scan barcodes in the branch or anywhere you, where you are, actually. If you have a product and you want product information, you will be able to scan that product, bring it up into your app, and it will take you to the product display page, which you will see right here. You'll be able to view inventory. You'll be able to set your own personal codes. You'll be able to see all the product information from the manufacturer. You'll be able to see packaging units as well for larger purchases. You'll be able to also see most commonly purchased items with this as well, which is really nice. Is The first one here is customers who bought this item also bought these five items. But down here, you'll see products that you frequently purchased with this item, and you will see the most commonly purchased items that actually you purchase. So it makes it really easy to, to quickly check inventory and check uh, uh, and add multiple items to a shopping cart. Last but not least, guys, the quick list, the save carts, the quotes, the order histories, these are all associated with your JustCan branch account number. So any user profile that you create 
uh, and associated to your company's profile will have access. You will all share saved cards, quotes, and quick lists. Uh, we can segregate them for users or for departments if you want, just let us know. But general rule of thumb is that everyone's gonna share. So whatever you create, you're gonna share with the rest of your team. One thing that is private to you as a user and a login is going to be your shopping cart, which means you can add, remove products to your shopping cart and you can use your shopping cart as a checklist from your app on the website and it will be only visible to you and your user profile. So you can use this as you want without having to worry about interfering with anybody else's work. That's it, everybody. Thanks so much for joining the meeting. Like I said, I'll follow up with an email after we hang up here. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll go over anything that you guys want. If you want to go into a deeper dive, like in something like the Job Builder or do a one-on-one -on -one with the app, I can definitely do that for you as well. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Take care.